Yeah, we will draw a character together. Basically, this is all I use in my own digital drawings. I started out just like you, teaching myself through YouTube videos like this one. Now I can draw. At least, I think I can draw. Well, I can buy me food of it. If you didn't check my first video on what tools you need and what I recommend, then I will link it here for you. I will use an iPad and the software Procreate for drawing, but you can follow the drawing steps with any tablet and any software. May it be Krita, Sketchbook, Photoshop or whatever. Every good drawing software covers the same basics, but don't waste time, let's dive into it. Okay, let's start in your software. First we have to create a canvas where we will draw on. Click on this plus sign in Procreate and here again for new. We choose 3000 by 3000 pixels, what I use very often because it's big enough for even being printed in about letter size. But if you feel like your computer can't handle it, 2000 by 2000 pixels should be good enough. Also very important is the color profile, as we create a digital drawing for being watched on mobile phones or displays, we choose sRGB, because it's the most compatible with different screens out there. Otherwise your illustration could only look bright on your own screen. At the moment this sRGB profile is still the most common one, which we will also use. If you can find it in your software, search for sRGB 2.1 or just sRGB. Okay, now click on create and we will have a fresh and clean new camera to draw on. Okay, this can feel really good, but also a little bit scary. But don't worry. So, how do we get some color in there? We need a brush, of course. Brushes can vary a lot. Some look like coal, some look like oil, or even like greenery. Some can change with tilt and others with pressure, or even both. There are a million different brushes on the internet waiting for you to be downloaded. And even I have some brushes on my website. But for the beginning, the brushes coming with your software will absolutely do and maybe you will never feel the urge to replace them. Every brush can be changed in size and in opacity. The lower the opacity, the more transparent the brush strokes. Of course, you can change the color of the lines too. On the right hand side you can see the active color here. By clicking you open the color wheel. Probably you will now see something like this. This view displays colors in a circular pattern, but I prefer the classic view, where the color gets more saturated when you slide to the right and more muted to the left. To darken the value go downwards and to lighten upward. And here we have the eraser. Most software supports changing the eraser to any brush available, but for today a hard round will do. I use the mono line, which you can find in the calligraphy section of Procreate. By the way, if you want to undo something, uh, in Procreate you can tap with two fingers, and to redo it, tap with three fingers. You can also use your fingers to move around the canvas and to zoom in and out. Because learning is most effective by actual doing, and because my favorite thing to draw are portraits, we will draw a character together today. No worries, just a simple one. If you follow along, then you can do that. To make it even more beginner friendly, I prepared this for you. And I want you to trace it. Yes, actually tracing is not only a taboo among digital artists, but it's also a great way to train your muscle memory, which lets your hand kind of automatically draw better lines. Okay, so for tracing you can simply make a screenshot of this whole screen where the video runs. I'm going to show you the picture again, then just pause the video, go to full screen mode and take a screenshot. Or you just download it from the link in the description below. Back in your drawing software, in case you made a screenshot, search for the import photo function. In Procreate you click action symbol here, add and then insert a photo. The iPad should automatically have saved your illustration to your photo gallery here. You can now resize the photo that way that the character is about in the middle of the canvas. Like this. Don't worry about the stuff around. We just need it roughly. In case you downloaded the file in the description, search for import file in your software and search in your download folder for a file named Character Fjordwind. It will automatically import the file which you can now rearrange to your liking. But we assume we took a screenshot for now. Okay, when you're ready, go to the layer selection. In Procreate, it's this symbol. Layers are the reason digital art is so much fun. Drawings consist of more or less of them, and they work like foils where you can draw on and which you can stack on top of each other. Okay, back to layers. We now lower the opacity of the imported layer. 
Therefore, click on the NetApp beside its description, probably a N, and lower the opacity to about 30%. Make a new layer on top by clicking the plus sign. Let me change the name to Line Art. You don't have to do that, but it might be more tidy. For tracing, we will need a detail brush. Search in the ink or sketching section of your software for one you like. In Procreate, we go to the sketching section and grab the 6B pencil. Choose a dark reddish color and for the size, I would say, yeah, we 100%. Well, now start tracing along. Remember, you can zoom in and out. Just like this. If your lines look like you have made them with your left paw, then there is a trick. Look out for the brush settings of the current brush. In Procreate, you open them by clicking on the brush in the brush library. Search for stabilization and increase it. Here it's the streamline amount. I think 70 to 80% will do. Now your lines won't be as wobbly anymore. If you don't like a line, just redo and try again. It's another benefit of digital art and I do that a million times while drawing. In a real drawing, the imported layer would be something like your messy sketch, just by the way. Okay, great. I'm sure you've done a good job. Or maybe that. You don't have to show it to anyone, but probably you've learned a lot already. Okay, now the imported layer kind of disturbs our view, so we go to the layers again and disable it by unchecking this little checkbox beside the description. Or we delete it completely. Slide it to the left and tap delete okay next let's give this character some color important is we want color underneath the line art layer so make a new layer you can just drag the layer underneath there now find a hard round brush i will use the default brush mono line which can be found in the calligraphy section and choose a skin color usually i would go for something between reddish and yellow if I would go for a more realistic drawing, I would use something like this, but as we draw a cartoony character, we will use more saturated colors. Now start outlining the area of the skin like this. Um, most drawing software has a fill tool somewhere. In Procreate it is here. Drag this color bubble to the area to be filled. If you now hold the stylus where it is, you can adjust how strongly the fill tool adheres to boundaries by sliding left or right. But many drawing programs have a real trashy fill tool, so for the sake of simplicity, we will color this area in ourselves. Now you maybe understand why there are jobs out there uh, where people just color artworks of others in. Okay, perfect. Now let's get her dressed. For the top, I make a new layer and apply the same coloring scheme as before. Um, let's grab a reddish color, orangey red. Of course, you can use whatever color you like. Okay, now I will use the color free tool. Nice, but a bit boring, so we will learn a new trick now. Go to your layer and set it on alpha lock. Therefore, tap and select alpha lock. See how here occurs like a chest pattern? Alpha locking means you lock the layer in that way that you can only draw where there already exist painted pixels. See, I can only draw where we added the red color already. It is a great way to add a pattern to the shirt without drawing outside the borders. I think I will just draw some flowers. And I will use the 6B pencil for that. You can draw whatever you like best. Be creative. I mean, that's probably the reason why you're here, right? Because you're creative. Next, let's give her some hair. Um, we will need a new layer. We will use... Um, a blondish color, I think, because it looks cute to her skin tone. Okay, and same as before, color in.
Okay, now she needs eyes. And you guessed it, new layer. One important tip here, never use pure white or pure black in your illustrations. There are just very few occasions when you really need pure black or white and I have never had one before. The way to go in this case is to use the color pick tool to pick the skin color. In Procreate hold down like this to pick it. Now choose a grayish white color in the range of the skin color and draw some roundish eyes. Okay, now the pupils. Yep, new layer. I think blue would go well with the blonde hair. Now draw two round pupils. Here and one here. You think this looks ugly? I think so too. <laughs> Time to learn something new. If we take this layer, which is right above the layer of the white of the eyes, then we can choose to clip it to this layer underneath. Tap and create clipping mask. This means everything we draw in this new layer can only appear where something of the underneath layer already exists. It's similar like the alpha log we used for the shirt pattern before, but this time in an extra layer. Probably better to just show you what I mean. See? I can only draw where there already exists white. Now, if you think the pupils look a bit off, then we can rearrange them. Um, therefore, we use the selection tool, or maybe it's in your software called the lasso tool. I activate it by tapping on this arrow here. Make sure the free hand mode is checked and choose one pupil. Confirm the selection with the tap on a gray bubble here. Now, if you tap on the arrow, then you can move the pupil around. Okay, you see, because we clipped it um, to the right of the layer, it can only occur here. Okay, you can deselect everything and go back to normal by clicking the arrow again. We forgot the eyebrows. Draw them in the hair layer. I usually pick a brown in the hue of the skin color and I love dark brown eyebrows. Okay, looks cute. Now we want to give the character lips. I recommend making a new layer for that. Draw a reddish semicircle on top and a lighter red colored semicircle on the bottom of her mouth. Now the character looks good but still a bit flat so we will add some shadows now. Therefore we need a new layer and we will need the layer on top of the skin layer. And this time we will set the layer to a special mode. A layer mode defines how the current layer affects the layers underneath. Some modes darken layers underneath, some lighten them and some just change the colors in a specific way. But for now it's absolutely enough to know the multiply mode. I use the multiply mode very often to simply and quickly add shadows to my drawings. To set a mode for your layer, tap the letter beside the description again and choose the multiply mode. I usually choose a reddish light grey color like this one. Also we will clip this layer on the skin so we can only draw where we have the skin. Just draw a shadow with the monoline or the hard round brush under the head on her neck, like this. You can't do anything wrong with adding the shadow underneath her nose too, so we will add this too. Like here, everything in half circles. And maybe the hair could cast a shadow too on her face, so you could draw here a shadow too and I think the ear will be in dark too. The next shadow will be on the hair so we will add a new layer above the hair and set it to multiply. Also don't forget to clip it to the hair, we don't want to draw anywhere else. Yeah, For the color we can again go for this grey reddish tone. Now add shadows here. And the shadow here. Also here will be a shadow. A 
Okay, see? If we darken this area, the hair suddenly looks more three-dimensional. The last shadow we will add is in her eyes. Therefore, we add a multiply layer above the pupils and we clip it to the right of the eyes layer, like we did with the pupils before. And yes, you can flip more than one layer to others. We can use the same color again, this grayish color. Then add a shadow like this one, just like a bow. Okay, we're already done. Just a few last details. To make her look more healthy, we choose the skin layer and search her airbrush in the brush library. In Procreate, um, we use the soft brush, which you can find in the airbrush section. Better, we will alpha lock the skin layer so we can only draw on the skin. You can't go wrong if you pick the, the skin color and just in the same height go to the right to make the color more saturated. Just gently add some colors on her cheeks. Maybe a bit orangey, but I think it fits her well. Now comes almost the last step before she is finished. Um, usually I add a layer on top of everything for finishing details like these. Choose the white of the eyes with the eyedropper tool and add a white glow to the eyes with the mono line. This lets them really shine. Now add some light rose gloss to the lips like this and we have some more depth too. Okay, last but not least, let's change the background color. In Procreate it's an extra layer, you probably have seen it already. Go to your layers and click on the background layer and now you can change it. I will go for a pinkish, peachy tone, maybe almost white. I know I promised that would have been the last step, but there is a special trick I almost forgot but really want to show you, because it will give the final touch to your illustration. Therefore we will need a last layer. Clip it to the hair and set the mode to add. Now choose a light yellow orangey tone and draw waves like this, but not in the shadow area, okay? Erase it where it is in the shadow area. It might look a bit off, but we will change that by lowering the opacity of this layer a bit. See, it looks wonderful glossy. If you made it this far, you can really be proud of yourself. I hope this was helpful and please consider to subscribe so we can make more videos for you like this one.